Pat, let's dig <laughs> into Qual let's talk about Qualcomm Snapdragon Summit. Yeah, so this is gonna be easy one, top of mind. And this was all about on-device generative AI, right? Bringing it to the smartphone, bringing it to the PC. But if I had to prioritize, it would have to be the PC, right? Uh, the Elite X or the X Elite Snapdragon or Snapdragon X Elite platform has finally been unleashed. And we saw some tremendous benchmarking, benchmarking, uh, all that good stuff. Did you and say benchmarking? Yeah, like exactly. That. Yeah, hey, I come up with uh, one every month, Dan. So you can bank that and use that uh, uh, without giving me any credit. So anyways, though, so we saw some pretty amazing uh, performance and power off the CPU, the GPU, and the NPU that were pretty, uh, pretty impressive uh, versus the likes of Apple, Intel, and AMD. Uh, with an, there's an asterisk, right, uh, in that uh, this is a platform that we're likely going to see uh, probably the middle of 2024, uh, maybe the second quarter, uh, versus uh, products that are currently in, in market. But the numbers were so big, right? We saw 2x this, you know, heck, 10x at one point, that uh, I feel like, I, I feel innately that this platform is going to be competitive. And it's being brought to you by a brand new, custom uh, core uh, based on the Nuvia acquisition that Qualcomm made uh, a few years ago and a lot of development around that. A brand new Hexagon NPU that's delivering uh, 45 tops uh, just from the NPU. And just to give you uh, a sense, that's about 10x what's available out there uh, today uh, on the PC. So. I mean, I'm excited. I'm a big believer that uh, it takes three strong people in market to have a full element of competition. And right now it's Intel at about 75% share and AMD at about 25. And here we, here we go uh, with Qualcomm. And of course, I'm leaving Apple out of it, but they don't do Windows. Yep. So, and then uh, Snapdragon uh, uh, 8 Gen 3, essentially the smartphone platform that has a lot of those incredible features that we talked about uh, with Snapdragon X Elite, but bringing that to the smartphone, enabling just some amazing type uh, of use cases. And I'm going to kind of end it here, Dan. Uh, I like to call it the Borg, okay? Right, the Borg, if, you, if you're into Star Trek, you know, is where... Uh, all of consciousness goes into one place and everybody can, can, can leverage it. Well, in this case, everything that I'm saying on my phone, I'm texting, I'm messaging, all my video calls and my PCs, all my email, all my content is going to be essentially indexed on these devices. And I don't think people are going to be comfortable sending any of that to the cloud because we have our personal lives. But Imagine with all that insight, we can have something make us the most amazing travel schedule, right? Or, hey, what did Dan and I talk about last week, right? I have a terrible memory. I write everything down in my OneNote. Um, and, you know, I'd love to be able to say, hey, when's the last time that Dan and I talked about this technology or maybe even this deal or, you know, what, pl what plane you're taking on your next trip? So. Uh, I think it's upwards and onwards, and it's game on, baby. I mean, Apple uh, pan schedules a panic event, right, for Monday. And, uh, you know, you and I talked to Pat Gelsinger. He had some interesting things to say yep. uh, about yep. uh, about Qualcomm. And AMD ripped up their roadmap and, and pulled it in. So it's game on for Qualcomm. Yeah, I think uh, the the... the them as a third entrant into the Windows PC has been legitimized yeah. this week. And we knew since the Nuvi acquisition it was coming. Kind of everything right. that was between here and there was kind of just a placeholder. And it was like a, like you called it a, a marketing placeholder. Yeah. Look, you covered a lot of the good ground and I'm going to do something we haven't done in a long time, but I'm going to actually try to keep our show somewhat on time. Sorry about um, that. No, it's okay. It's just as much my fault as, yeah. as yours. In fact, I'm going to ramble on and screw that up right now. But <laughs> here's what happened here. The CPU got legitimized from Qualcomm. They told a very strong story about CPU, GPU, NPU, and they made some very compelling cases for the ARM-based PC. We knew this was coming. 
Uh, if Apple does anything well, it legitimizes technologies. And with the M1 and M2 and some of the very outsized results that it was able to get, despite M3 maybe not being as good, yeah. um, it did show that ARM, you can develop a very powerful PC platform on ARM. We've seen the same thing happen in the data center. Um, and Qualcomm has been long committed to this path. That's the big thing that came out of this event. Like always, advancements in hearables, advancement yeah. in IoT, advancements in, um, you know, in, 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 in devices. A bevy of CEOs showed up and backed this CPU product. We saw Satya, Mark Zuckerberg, you know, yeah. we saw some of the biggest names in tech all saying, we're committed. But you know the fight, the fight on the street, in the channel, the go to market is going to be real. And while Qualcomm can have the best product, best design, take its mobile provenance and take its low power to right. the PC, we all know that that's not always necessarily what drives unit sales. So them getting that market is going to matter. Yeah, and I, I will even go too far to say that that more times than not, the best technology doesn't win. Absolutely, it's the combination of Look all at the iPhone, like you said, exactly.